All right, hello and welcome back. We are in Corone. We don't really have anything planned for today, so this is really just gonna be a day in the life of traveling. So you're just gonna come along with us and kind of see what we get up to. But first stop is breakfast and coffee. I've noticed while walking around in the Philippines is I feel like they have a lot more stray dogs here than anywhere else in Asia that we've been and I don't know if that's just me seeing things or if that's actually true basketball courts last night there was a bunch of this volleyball net was set up last night and there was a bunch of people playing in it this whole sports complex last night was so busy I don't know if you can see but there's a bunch of stuff hanging from the trees and they were all lit up different colors which is so cool I feel like in Canada everything would be completely modern looking they don't try and add too much color and fun but here the more color the better like are you kidding look at all this color so we're actually staying in I believe Corone what is it Corone town Corone town and it's super convenient to stay in somewhere that is around everything because we haven't had to pay for any transportation and we're walking distance to so many things since getting around is kind of expensive on the islands here that we've encountered at least I also feel like when you walk places you get a better sense of where you are instead of just driving around someone else is kind of doing the directions for you but now we kind of have to navigate ourselves through the towns Smells really good in here. All right, so we just ordered and we're heading upstairs to eat. Thank you. We are just leaving the cafe now. We actually stayed there for quite a bit. The AC was really nice considering it is so hot out today. Right now we're just gonna go look at a laundry mat because we do need to do laundry and then we are going to head back to the hotel and get changed so that we can make our way up to the hike. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. When we were in the cafe you could actually see the viewpoint but I don't think you can right here. I swear when you're walking around, I think it's probably anywhere in Asia, but your nostrils go through a ride. <laughs> Every single step that you take, it is a different smell. And it's not like it's just like, oh, a casual smell. No, it penetrates your <laughs> nostrils. It goes from like cafe bakery to like sewer and then to like fried chicken. And then, yeah, it's just a roller coaster. It really is. There's some really good smells and then there's some like not really good smells. All right, so it's a probably like half an hour later and we just went and changed into more comfy clothes so that we can hike up to this viewpoint. It was only about a five minute walk to the, I don't know, alleyway from our hotel. Kurt just said we have about 10 more minutes till we actually get to the bottom of the stairs. I did say before that there was about 650 stairs, but correction, there is 723 stairs. Another thing that we might do after this viewpoint, apparently there's a hot springs that is great to do after this because I guess it relaxes your muscles after doing all these stairs. The temperature of it's 102, so I don't really know how that's gonna go because it's about 102 out right now. <laughs> but either way, we looked at it on uh, Google and it looks really pretty. We are walking up this, you can't tell at all, but if you can tell by my voice, it's a really steep hill but you can see where the stairs start right there Kurt also read that there's a lot of rest stops on the way so might have to be using those
one. Step one, two. Some of it is actually in the shade, which is kind of nice. Right now it is. Yeah, right now. We're at 100. Oh! <laughs> we'll spell face plate it out. <laughs> We're one seventh of the way up. I don't think it's that bad so far. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> I feel like we're probably almost halfway. I haven't seen 300 yet. I've seen 200. Oh, you haven't? But we're at like a nice little resting spot, so might need a drink of water. <laughs> we also were just being, oh, they left us. We were walking up the stairs with some uh, little kids from here. We can see the water from here, but I think the viewpoint actually faces this way. So this is called Mount Tapius Viewpoint. And apparently there's a nice 360 view of pretty much the whole town, everything behind it. And then you get to overlook the ocean too. So should be a pretty good view when we get up there. When we finally make it, here's 300. Oh, all right, we're about, well, I can see the 600 sign right there. So we probably have roughly 150 more steps. The view already is so nice. I'm actually excited to see what the view looks like from up there. Ready, Kurt? All right. We will see you in 150 steps. 720, 21, 22, 23. We have made it to the viewpoint. That is really hot. We're behind the Corona sign right now. We will go down there. Where you can see that girl down there, we will go down. When I said the whole stairs was covered in shade, it was probably only till step 300 and then it all was beaming sun. But this view is beautiful. Right down there is where we caught the boat the other day. It's also super nice that we probably only seen five people maybe on the way up and there was only one person up here when we got here. So honestly, it's not a huge tourist attraction, which is kind of nice. I think it might be busier at sunset. Like I told you, I feel like it's one of the sunset spots here because it's so high and the sun does set right across. We're just gonna chill up here for a bit, enjoy this view, drink some water, and then probably head down to the hot springs. goodness hi I don't have any food oh. what are you doing up here you don't sound very good how is this little kitty up here this is so sad do you want some water yeah I wish we had oh <laughs> If I could help every single stray animal, I would. I can't. I can do what I am able to. Oh, he's so happy. We are just heading back down. We are a little bit cooled down. Well, I am at least. If you do want to get really good photos with not a lot of people up there, I would suggest coming during the day. It's not ideal because of the temperature. And apparently it's a lot prettier obviously at sunset to get that aesthetic sunset photo but i think a lot of people even come at night time it's all lit up up there if you do want to come enjoy it by yourself i would suggest coming during the day there was one other person up there when we were there midday and we got the full view all to ourselves i also don't know if i mentioned earlier this is free so 
there's no entrance fee or anything which is kind of nice because most of the things on islands and when you're traveling do include a entrance fee or some sort of payment but this is free there's no one bothering you either even if sometimes it is free people are bothering you at the bottom to buy stuff or they'll even try and charge you a fee even though it is free so a white chocolate mocha Ice? Yes, please. Both ice? Yes, please. Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but I am literally pouring sweat. But we just stopped to grab a coffee. I got a white chocolate mocha. And Kirk got, what'd you get? A lemonade? A fresh lemonade. A fresh lemonade. Lemonades are just so refreshing. When it oh, look, it. It's li there's literally seeds in it. Yeah, I just had one. <laughs> That's some fresh lemonade. Their limes are yellow here, and they call them lemons, but they taste—it tastes like a lime, not a lemon. Weird. I don't know. I don't know. You don't think it's lime? No, I don't think it's lime. It I think it tastes like lemon. I think it's lemon. Yeah, but their lemons might not be as bitter and sweet as the ones at home. That's really good. It's uh, still a little bit warm because it was freshly brewed. Which is fine. I literally thought that was a real person. <laughs> but yeah, we are just going to walk back to um, the hotel, change into our bathing suits so we can go to the hot springs. Where? Me at the front? All right, we're just getting in. We're going to the hot springs. Thank you. Okay, we are in. That last bit of the road was treacherous. So just be warned, the last 15 or 20 minutes is crazy if you're gonna drive here. But it was 300 pesos to get in. And yeah, hopefully it's not too busy. I think we are gonna be here for sunset though, which is awesome. It looks so busy. It's really clear. I don't know why I didn't expect this to be clear. It's really busy though. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Oh god, I'm gonna flip on these. These are super slippery. Oh, sorry, I just punched you in the face. It's so busy. And you can't even see the sunset from here. No, yeah. I thought you'd be able to see the sunset a lot better, but it's back there. If you were to come here during the day, it would probably be a little bit too hot to sit in there. Right now, it's really nice. The sun is setting. You can kind of see it over there. See the clouds. Yeah, you can see the pink clouds, but you can't really see anything right here. It was 300 pesos to get in, 700 to get to and from town on a trike. Which, honestly, between both of us, I don't think it's that bad of a deal. No, because you, you can't walk here. It's like an hour walk, and then the roads are rough. So. Yeah, so rough. We did read in the comments and on Google that it, everyone was being charged 700 so I feel like that's just a flat rate that they do charge you to come here. <laughs> you got a really good view out here on the pier. You can, like, walk down this little boardwalk thing, out to, and there's, like three viewing points to look out into the ocean. We'll probably go sit in the hot springs. It's really hot and the steam comes off of the thing. So I don't really know if I want to bring my, the camera very close to it. So that's probably why you're not going to see us in the water. And it's also really busy right now. Like it's really busy. Yeah, I think a lot of people come here at night because it's it cools down so you can actually sit in it. During the day, it's probably like, I don't know, 105 degrees in the water. Now it's probably like 95 to 98. So I think it cools down. People probably come in the morning and in the afternoon. All right, I don't know if you can see me. It's kind of dark out, but we stayed here for about an hour. I think it's really pretty at nighttime. So if you were to come and avoid the heat, I don't think you're really gonna avoid the crowd. 
I would come at nighttime. It's all lit up with lights and stuff. Which is super pretty. We are just gonna walk back and try and find our trike guy, driver, and uh, head home. It's gonna be a crazy drive in the nighttime on these roads. But at this place, they do have restrooms and showers and everything to like offer yeah you can even rent little huts like this one's 300 pesos to rent for the day and they have little tuck shops i don't know where this guy is gonna be That's over right. here oh. hi puppy Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Well, that was chaotic. Again, like I always say, driving through small towns, I hear and see things that I don't want to hear and see. We made it home. Welcome to our little, oh, your water bottle's rolling underneath the home. Oh, no. <laughs> so that ends our day in Caron. We didn't really get up to too much. We did a little bit of sightseeing. Um, this is our last day in Chrome. We leave tomorrow morning on a ferry to El Nido. And we're gonna be there for a decent amount of time. So we're gonna get up to so much stuff there, which I'm so, so excited about. So yeah, thanks for joining on our day in Chrome, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys.